beautiful. Oh, thank you. You know, quail, it's so small, it's got to cook just right. See that? You know what it is? Today's mystery box is about turning those stunning petite ingredients into a delicious work of art that will impress us and Chef Graham Elliott. Being a big guy, my specialty is not attention to fine detail, it's not plating. I'm gonna have to get out of my comfort zone. I'm working with these itty bitty ingredients. I have six kids at home. I am used to cooking large portions. So trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with these tiny little veggies is gonna be a challenge. The vegetables are too tiny. I'm just scraping by right now, no more scraping by. It is a big deal that it's only eight of us left, so I hope to prove my work today. John, how are we doing? Good. Welcome to Canada. Thank you so much. It looks like you are in a whirlwind. You've got like 10 feet of stuff all over the place. Yeah, I'm just trying to make a little pretty plate. I got some uh, quail that I split in half. I'm going to put it on the grill. It's got some sumac on it. I put some okay. butter under the skin. You never work with something so, so tiny. There's not a lot of fat in it, so yes. just make sure that you do not try to get it crispy, but then overcook it at the same time. Yeah. I'd rather have perfectly cooked quail than well done quail with crispy skin. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. All right, good luck, Tom. Thank you. Tammy, how are you? Hi. What do you got going on here? Right now, I'm doing a lime and cilantro cream sauce for my uh, Swiss chard. I'm going to do like a little Swiss chard tower. I'm doing a fried sardine in a little bit of flour, because sure. that's the way my mom does rainbow cool. trout. So it's Tammy versus Sabrina versus Jennifer in the sardine <laughs> challenge. Okay. It's going to be a battle. <laughs> five minutes. You have five minutes left. I want to see some really fantastic plating. My presentation normally sucks, so I got to really focus. The one thing that can really lead them down the wrong path is by putting too much on the plate. Less is more. It's restraint. And that is a tough thing when you're a young, enthusiastic home cook. One minute. The judges are going to be impressed by my plating. It should be as close to Graham-esque as possible. I hope the judges want to taste this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heads up! Woohoo! Tammy. Nice job, Tam Tam. What I've prepared for you today is a pan fried sardine. I created a little tower of Swiss chard, and then I pickled the radishes and the beets, then made a small salad. First thing that draws you in this the beets, gorgeous, candy stripe, golden red. Really good. Great cook on the fish. It's full of flavor. Beautiful. Thank good you. job. Thank you. Well, the presentation, I think, is, is quite beautiful. Thank you. You've used a large plate, but you used it well. Absolutely delicious. Crisp powder skin, certainly not overcooked. Nice and moist. Nice job. Thank you. I'm feeling very good about what I've created and what I have the ability to do. John, please bring up your dish. Right. We have a sumac and butter grilled quail with an array of little baby vegetables. You're physically imposing. You're a big dude. You got the grill pan going. So I'm thinking, all right, some like dude food. Then you come up and you present a plate with polka dots of sauce. <laughs> Just seeing this dish, it'd be like, wow, he's definitely one of the front runners. This is beautiful. Oh, thank you. You know, quail, it's so small, it's got to cook just right. See that? You know what it is? Perfect. Awesome. with a lot of lemon, it's got this acidity cutting through it, but it tastes like quail. It's not obliterated by the sumac. It's a pretty awesome dish. Thank you, you. should be really proud. Good Thank job. You. John, you got the baby tomatoes here with the puree. Yeah. Wow. 
that red pepper puree matches that tomato beautifully. Here you have two vegetables that amplify the taste of each other. You're getting there, you're getting refined. One of these days you may have to get long pants. <laughs> the Tammy, Sabrina, maybe I can win this mystery box challenge.